morning, Todd with Jerry's Garage here in Round Rock. There are three things that I want to talk about for winterizing your vehicle and what you should do, even for your lawnmowers and weed eaters, if you aren't going to be using them. Uh, first thing, for any, any vehicle that you're driving, whether it's something you drive every day or periodically through the winter time, you always want to make sure you have good antifreeze in your vehicle, which will keep it from freezing, which in turn will keep you from blowing up your radiators, you know, pushing freeze plugs out of your engine and, and potentially doing major, major damage when the temperature drops below freezing. So antifreeze is the most important thing. The second thing, you know, for any vehicle, maybe you have a Jeep or a convertible that's going to sit in your garage over the winter time, you always want to make sure you put some fuel stabilizer in your gas tank. Uh, this will keep it from having the ethanol break down and turn into gooky deposits which will mess up your fuel system. So anything that sits over winter, always make sure you put some stabilizer to keep the, the molecules of fuel from breaking down. The next thing is poison or traps or whatever you would like to do, you know, your preferred method of keeping rodents out of a vehicle that sits. You know, every year here at Jerry's Garage, we do thousands of dollars worth of wiring repair because those rodents who always have, you know, the incisors that grow, they eat through everything and then we have to do massive amounts of wiring repair. So if you have something that's stowed away, make sure you put out either poison or traps to manage your rodents because they always come inside to stay warm just like we do. So I'm Todd with Jerry's Garage. If you have any kind of questions about winterizing your vehicles, give us a call. Thank you.